Now, Channel 3, early warning weather. Well, it wasn't the brightest election day, but at least we stayed dry and it wasn't terribly cold either. Let's uh, look at early warning pinpoint top with the best chance for a little bit of rain uh, as we go into the next few hours in, is in southeastern Connecticut. You can see a little green starting to show up around Old Lyme and also Groton Long Point into uh, Stonington, but we widen out the view and you can see that the rest of the state is just fine. There's our eye cam in Hartford. It's 55 degrees as we look off across the uh, Connecticut River. You can see some nice color in the trees in Waterbury, but the uh, sky overhead is gray. It's 50 degrees there and calm. And there's our ICAM in New Haven. Plenty of color in the trees around and in uh, New Haven where the current temperature is 55 degrees. We got a westerly breeze at 12 miles an hour. As far as temperatures go, we're, we're in the 50s for the most part. Uh, New Haven is one of the warm spots at 55. So is Hartford. We have 50 degrees in uh, Torrington and uh, 53 degrees in Willimantic. Chester, you're at 52. And we got uh, some green showing up over Connecticut. Again, this is not reaching the ground although it might in southeastern Connecticut. The uh, bulk of the rain is going to pass out to sea to the south of New England as we go through this evening. So futurecast shows that, again, a little bit of rain may graze southeastern Connecticut early this evening. Otherwise, we'll have clearing skies tonight. And with that clearing, temperatures are going to drop to frosty levels come early tomorrow morning. So if you have any plants that you want to uh, protect that could get damaged by frost, you might want to cover them or even uh, bring them in. Otherwise, tomorrow is shaping up to be a beautiful day with sunshine mixing with some partial cloudiness during the afternoon. And then as we go into Thursday, a storm is going to pass out to sea to our south. So I think we'll see a little bit of cloudiness show up, especially during the afternoon. But the rain will stay to the south and east of uh, Connecticut on a Thursday. In fact, the storm track is going to be to the south over the coming days. Another one is going to do a pretty uh, much a similar path over the weekend, but it will come a little bit closer. So Saturday looks dry with mostly sunny skies. And then on Sunday, here comes that next coastal storm. It could bring some rain to Cape Cod, but Connecticut right now, we're thinking it's going to stay dry. A little shift into the uh, north could bring some rain into the uh, state, but all the guidance models so far are saying it's going to be a miss. That's something we'll be tracking for you over the coming days. So tonight, again, cold uh, and clear later on tonight. Temperatures will be in the upper 20s in the cold spots, low 30s elsewhere, mid 30s along the I-95 corridor. And tomorrow's going to be a chilly day, but there won't be too much in the way of wind. We'll see highs 50 to 55, but in the northwest hills, temperatures may not rise out of the upper 40s. All right, so here is your seven day forecast. Some frosty nights in there. In fact, the coldest of the cold will likely come Saturday morning, 20s. The uh, weather looks pretty good overall Wednesday through Friday with the low 50s over the weekend. We'll warm up a little bit. We'll be watching that coastal storm on Sunday, but right now it looks like a miss. And for Monday and Tuesday, temperatures will likely reach the 60s. So warmer weather is in sight. We'll have to wait a while, but it's coming for the shoreline tomorrow, a high of 54.